Vern from VFC Archery. So I'm back to you again. We're going to be making an Osage bow this time and I'm going to use fairly primitive tools, no power tools. We're going to be making a uh, 51 inch Osage, probably flipped at the tips, bow with no bend in the handle. That's at least the, the idea for now. And what makes this interesting is I'm not going to use a draw knife. I'm going to use what I've used for my last two Osage bows. I am going to use a small axe to chase the ring. So no draw knife on this one. Um, I want to show you it can be done. It's not as hard as you think. Actually, I get far more satisfaction out of it. You kind of get that feeling like you're actually making something with your own hands. Okay, so that piece of wood that I'm going to be using, it's going to be a 51 inch piece of Osage and I think you can just see the ring there. The one I'm going to go for is probably the thickest one towards the top. It's a fairly big piece of wood, fairly straight, not much twist to it. Um, it's a heavy piece of wood that's for sure. So I'll show you the other end here just so you can get a, a view. Let's get really close so we can see those. Now it's going to be a little difficult, those rings aren't exactly flat, but uh, we're going to do it with an axe. Okay, so here are the tools I'm going to use. And you'll notice there's no draw knife in this equation. I've got a beautiful 10 inch axe here with a two and a half inch uh, blade on it. And it's a Swedish design. I got this from Lee Valley. And the name here, I'm going to show you the name because I think that if you haven't got one of these in your collection, you might want to add one. Gransforth's Brook fantastic axe sharp as can be I've used it for a couple years I think I've sharpened it once but just just barely it's pretty costly but boy I'll tell you a beautiful axe and that's the one that's going to chase the back of an Osage ring the next thing I may or may not use is going to be this very very thick uh, and and I think you can just tell just take a look at the uh, wood removal power on that one but I don't know if I'm going to use that one uh, but I will use this one and it's just your typical rasp I'm going to use this chain file to put in the uh, the knocks the scraper that's what I'm going to use for the bulk of the work of removing um, any of the imperfections I've got a measuring tape I've got some sanding pads a sanding block with uh, a pretty heavy grit and we've got some steel wool here and that's it. That's what I'm going to use to make a bow. 